Hey everybody, Sharon here from TheGameReact.com. Here we are today back in Brock the Investigator going for the Food Thief achievement. This is to steal food whenever the opportunity presents itself. There's going to be seven times that count towards this achievement. First one up is going to be in Chapter 1. This is going to be when you head over to Sector 56X to go meet up with Sin to get your assignment. Make sure you head on inside his apartment. You're going to get the introduction to the case. And then at the end of that, you should have free roam of his apartment to investigate. What you want to do is you want to make sure you go over to the bottom left of the main room right here. There's going to be a refrigerator. Make sure you open it up and then if you click on the food inside you are going to have the option to take it. Make sure you do so as a form of prepayment and that's going to cover the first one of the achievement. Make sure you wrap up whatever you need to do here in Sector 56X, then you're going to continue the investigation. Eventually, you're going to end up at the border post. Once you are here, you are going to need to talk to Bolt the robot. You're going to try to convince him to get the door open for you. This is all going to be part of the story, as we are going to need to have access to the tower behind us. So once you get the glass dome open up, you're going to do the little puzzle to create a little passageway to get further up the tower. Now you should notice in the back left corner there's going to be a vending machine and that's going to be where we need to steal the food from. Unfortunately you can't break this particular vending machine with your fist so we're going to need to get to the top of the tower. Once we are up here, you're going to want to open up your inventory and then equip the apartment key. You are going to normally use this to remove the shelf brackets that hold these ad boards in place. Now you're supposed to do this to the one on the right in order to build a bridge across to the other tower. However, if you do this to the one on the left, remove the shelf bracket and then enter action mode and then punch it. What's going to happen is the left ad board should fall down and then break the vending machine. You should be able to climb back down the tower and then pick up whatever fell out of the vending machine and then whatever is inside you should steal and that's going to be the second of the seven occasions. Make sure you wrap up the rest of chapter 1 and then we're going to get to the beginning of chapter 2. Close to the beginning what's going to happen is you're going to shift on over to Brock's scenario where you are in jail. What you want to do is you want to make sure you press the second button on your cell wall right here. That's going to switch things over to bedroom mode. There's going to be a food distributor here and if you interact with it you should pull out some rotten fruit. Make sure you try to pull out every single one of them. Can't say no to free food and this one is going to count towards the achievement as the third occasion. So that make sure you just take all of the rotten food until there is going to be none left and then you should take care of this one. Moving on to chapter 3, this one's going to be towards the end of Brock's scenario. This is going to be when you head over to the police department. This one is going to be part of the story if you plan on going the non-violent puzzle solving route. This is to get some beverages from the front desk robot right here. So once you get to the police department, make sure you step on any one of the buttons until you get the description on how they work. And then once you get control of your character again, you're going to want to step on the fifth button right here. It's going to be the one that's closest to the gate. Make sure you stand on that until the robot offers you a drink. Make sure you take the flowing water, which is going to be the solution to one of the puzzles. So make sure you take that one, and this one's actually going to count towards this achievement. So even if you are doing a violent playthrough, make sure you take this one anyways to get that one off the list. Moving on to the next one, this one's going to be in Chapter 4. This is going to be towards the beginning when you are playing as Brock and you are doing the investigation at the lab with Ott. Make sure once the investigation ends up in the restroom, which is the room in the middle, you want to make sure you open up the left side of the fridge right here in the back right and then take the four pieces of food here. You should have two pieces of fruit, an energy drink, as well as a pizza that you can take. So make sure you take all four of those and that should take care of another occasion. While in this restroom, there's going to be another opportunity to steal food right here with the first aid kit. Open it up, you should see a button inside. Make sure you switch over to action mode and then punch the button. What's going to happen is it's going to produce some food back out in the lobby. So make sure once you take care of that, you head on back outside and then look inside this little box by the pipe over to the right and you should whip out another energy drink and then both of those should add two more occasions to the list. There shouldn't be any opportunities during chapter 5, so we're going to move ahead to the final chapter. This is going to be once you get to the bunker during Brock's scenario. 
So once you are in here, you're going to need to look around the place, and then eventually what's going to happen is you're going to interrogate the doctor. Once you get free roam of the room, what you want to do is want to make sure you interact with this triangular door right here. Make sure you do that a couple of times, and eventually you are going to open it and then fight the robots inside. If you're doing this in a peaceful playthrough, you can also have D take care of them. Once you clear the room of robots though, you're going to want to head back inside their little glass cage and you're going to notice this glass case right here called furniture. You're going to want to enter action mode and then punch out the glass and then you should be able to steal whatever food is inside. If you happen to get this with the other ones, that should be all seven occasions where you can steal some food in the game. And then once you have all of them taken care of, you should be good for the achievement. It's going to be for a 30 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.